Also tonight, one of the busiest areas this weekend ended up being one of the most dangerous overnight. Uh, that's after a shooting that landed two people in the hospital. The bullets flew on 18th Street near Atlantic Avenue around 2 a.m. One person was rushed to the hospital. Another showed up there a short time later. Ten on your side, Joe Fisher now with what happened and business owners' concerns about a holiday weekend of crime. Well, you can bank on seeing lots of officers down here on foot, on bike, and on horse trying to keep things calm. You'll remember July 4th weekend, six people were shot in the same area. Now with this violence ahead of Labor Day, businesses tell me they just can't catch a break. This is typically our last hurrah. Inside the candy kitchen on Atlantic Avenue. Hi guys, how are you? Colleen Albarillo has been selling happiness for 22 years. So that was cookies and cream, King Tut, and what was the other one? But she says in a store full of sweet treats. As soon as I read it, it was not again. There's a sour taste in her mouth after an overnight shooting. Again, a shooting again. The shots, according to police, fired just feet away on 18th Street, hitting two men. Investigators say a fight between two groups at the Rye nightclub spilled out onto Atlantic before the shooting. It actually angers me that the beach is being taken away from bad publicity. Officers found one victim inside a car seen racing from the scene just after 2 a.m. The second man shot turned up at the hospital. The beach is very family friendly. Um, it's just that switch that happens at night. The problems hitting their bottom line hard with less foot traffic from families and underscoring the need for extra security. That's scary to hear. That's scary to hear that we were, you know, out playing last night and I brought my kids up to bed and back out this morning and I had no idea that that had happened. The candy kitchen has started closing two hours early to keep employees safe and they'll close a month early to end their slowest season on record. Alvarillo hoping for a last minute boost this Labor Day weekend. Fingers crossed that things stay calm and quiet. And police say there were witnesses to this shooting, but so far none of them appear to be talking. If you can help police solve this crime, you're asked to give them a call. In Virginia Beach, I'm Joe Fisher, 10 on your side.